What's up guys? My name is Blake Burns. I'm a commercial diver and an artist here in South Florida. It's kind of hard like balancing both of those lifestyles. Like one, I'm traveling, repairing cruise ships all around the world, and then I'm also trying to find the time to finish up paintings that I'm working on or for clients. But um, today we're going to be working in my home studio. I got a new project that I'm going to start today. So today, we're going to be painting a Yeti cup. I found this cup um, at a Yeti store, surprisingly. I think a Yeti store would have Yeti cups, but they do. And uh, I like the color, so let's paint it. First thing first, I whipped out my big sheet of tracing paper and started sketching on that. And then I ended up pulling out my iPad with an old image of one of my paintings I did a year ago. And that actually was like perfect proportion for the, um, for the cup. So I started tracing over that. But uh, yeah, let's start with a montage. <laughs> over this and hopefully this transfer paper will do its magic and transfer over to the cup. Okay, so I finished uh, going over it with a ballpoint pen and now we're going to take it off and see if it worked. This was uh, actually my first time using transfer paper and I'm really surprised like how well it worked and uh, I don't know why it took me so long to start using this method but I understand now. Um, so yeah, let's start with painting. Next thing, I'm gonna do a base coat and then go over everything with uh, all the details. Next montage. Pew, 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 pew. painting part. I'm going to tape off the stainless steel, the, uh, the top and the bottom, and then after I tape it off I'm going to apply a gloss gel medium before applying epoxy. Alright, so now we have the tape applied and also I did a layer of a gel medium. So before I do epoxy, I'm going to stop by Michael's and get a tumbler. I was searching online and apparently a tumbler is the best way to apply epoxy to like a cup. So you don't get the drips everywhere and just slowly rotates and spreads the epoxy evenly. So I'm going to go to Michael's. Go fast.
So the epoxy I'm using comes in a part part A and part B form. Usually most epoxies come that way. So you have to do a one to one ratio. I have a mixing cup that has all the ratios on it. So it just shows me what line to fill with each one. That comes in handy. And then um, I'd say mix for about two minutes at least to make sure everything is blended in really well. And then after that, you can turn on that tumbler and start applying. So once the epoxy is evenly spread, I then grab a heat gun to take care of all the uh, air bubbles that start to form. And then once you get rid of those, you let the epoxy sit for about 24 hours. Usually I just let it sit overnight and then, uh, then it should be cured. Alright, so it's been about 24 hours and um, it's time to take the tape off. The epoxy has fully hardened. And let's see how well the tape worked. So far, so good.